No one, and I mean no one, will be able to describe the Sierra Nevada mountain range like Cam Wrench did on Ann Trayson's life and legacy, but I'm gonna try because this weekend, the Canyons Endurance Runs by UTMB takes place starting in Auburn, California. The 100K is a golden ticket race to this summer's big dance at Western States, meaning the top two men and women receive automatic entry into the race. Everyone else who finishes the 100K distance will qualify for the lottery for the 2024 running of Western States. The 100 milers will see a new course this year, but still feature iconic parts of the Western States 100 course, such as the river crossing at Rocky Chucky. The top 10 men and women who finish each distance will receive automatic entry into their respective distance this summer. Yes, so that means UTMB, CCC, and OCC. Yes, a spot in Chamonix, France is on the line. Okay, it's Chamonix, but it would be really, really cool if it was pronounced Chamonix. Anyway, the 50K will be also seeing some incredibly fast runners out there on the course this weekend and towing the line. It's going to be an absolute spectacle to watch. So with all of that being said, I think it's time to dive into some predictions. Let's ride. Let's start things off on the women's side for the 100K distance, fifth place. I've got it going to Ida Nielsen. And my goodness, she recently finished fifth place at the Black Canyon 100K back in February. This race happens to be a UTMB World Series major race, so it's only fitting that we mention her third place finish at CCC where she ran 1241 back in 2018. She's won many incredible races over her career like Run the Rut 50K and the Crown King Scramble 50K. We're super excited to see how she does out there. Ida, we've got you finishing fifth place. Fourth place, I've got to go into an incredible runner, and that's Yuri Yoshizuma. My goodness, most recently she won the Cliffs 100K running around Doi in Tanan last December in 3 hours 45 minutes. She did run OCC last year where she finished 18th at that 50k race, but she also has multiple top 5 finishes there as well. Another impressive result that jumps off the page to me as well is her performance at the Ultra Trail Mount Fuji 100k back in 2018 where she took home the win by over an hour and a half, running 10 hours 45 minutes. Yuri will definitely be ready to go for another big time performance this weekend and that's why we've got her finishing fourth place. Third place, I've got to go into a Canadian runner and it's Priscilla Forgy. My goodness, this past August, she won the Squamish 50-50, a race up in Squamish, British Columbia, where you run 50 miles on Saturday, 50 miles on Sunday, and the cumulative time is the winner. She also won the UTHC North Face Challenge 125K race up in Canada, running a time of 17 hours, 37 minutes. Priscilla is going to be an extremely tough runner to beat out there at this race, but this year we've got her finishing third place. In taking home the runner-up spot, securing one of those golden tickets, I've got to go into a Boulder, Colorado runner, and that's Mary Bauman. My goodness, Mary kicked off her racing season in the new year just three weeks back at the Run the Ranch six-hour run where she ran 34 miles outright for the win. Of course, everyone should remember her incredible performance at Run Rabbit Run 100 miler last year where she finished third place, running a time of 23 hours and 10 minutes. This isn't her first go-round with UTMB races as well. Back in 2022, she won Desert Rats 50K, and back in 2020, she won Mountain Rats 55K. It's going to be an absolutely massive day out there for Mary, and we cannot wait to see it all unfold. In taking home the win on the women's side, we've got it going to an incredible runner from Spain, and it's Aroa Siao. My goodness, it doesn't take an expert to jog the memory from incredible recent performances at this race. Last year, Aroa finished third place at this with an incredible battle all day long with Leah Yingling. And you know, you know, people ask, you know, what have you done for me since this race last year? Well, let me tell you, she went on to finish 12th place at Western States last summer, and in the fall, she finished 8th place at UTMB. What 
an incredible year. This year, she's already off to a strong start with a third place finish at Tarawera 100K in New Zealand. Aroa, we cannot wait to see you at top of the podium this weekend. Best of luck out there. Let's switch gears and throw it over to the men's side for the 100K distance fifth place. I've got it going to that man from Oregon, and it's David Laney. David finished seventh place at the Black Canyon 100K back in February, running eight hours and four minutes. It wasn't that long ago that David finished fourth place at this exact race running 933, and that was back in 2021. He also finished 36th place at UTMB last October running 2416. David, we're excited to see you out there, and we've got you finishing fifth place. Fourth place, I've got it going to an incredible runner from Davenport, Iowa, and that's Phil Young. What do the Iowa Hawkeyes and Phil Young have in common? They both love running, allegedly. Back to the important things, this man has done some absolutely incredible things and some things that no other man has ever done at Tunnel Hill 100, and he's officially the first person to win that extremely competitive race in back-to-back -back years. He ran 13.32 this past year and 12.44 the year previously. Just 13 days ago, he won his 50K tune-up race running 4.32 at the Loud Thunder 50K. I really like the top end speed you're getting with someone like Phil, and he's definitely one to watch out there. That's why we've got him finishing fourth place. Third place, I've got to go into another awesome runner from Boulder, Colorado, and that's Justin Grunewald. My goodness, just this past October, he won the Antelope Island, Antelope Island, I don't know, I actually, I've been there. I've run there multiple times, Antelope Island. 50K running time of three hours, 26 minutes on that blistering fast course. He also has two seventh place finishes at Bandera 100K and the Black Canyon 100K as well. He did win the Golden Gate Trail Classic Spartan 50K last year, running a time of three hours and 33 minutes at that race. We are super excited to see him run with the best of them this weekend. Go out there and go get him, Justin. And taking home the runner-up spot on the men's side and securing one of those golden tickets, I've got to go into a Colorado runner, and that's Brian Curl. There actually isn't anything I am more confident in the world than I am right now in Brian Curl securing a golden ticket at this race. I'm willing to go on the record saying that I will jug a gallon of milk and run an all-out mile afterwards if this doesn't happen. Or better yet, Ridge Runner Nation, let me know what you would like to see. Because regardless of what happens out there on Saturday, this man is going to win a golden ticket, and I'm confident in that. He finished 7th place at Bandera 100K earlier this year, and this will be his third time at this race, and he's finished his highest 7th place in his previous two runnings at this race. This is going to be the one where it all comes together. Brian, please think about the milk and go out there and get yourself a golden ticket. In taking home the win on the men's side, I've got it going to a fantastic runner from Boulder, Colorado, and that's Matt Daniels. This dude is coming into this race firing on all cylinders. Earlier this month, he won the Gorge Waterfalls 50K, running a time of three hours and 58 minutes. Prior to that, he finished sixth place at the JFK 50 miler. Obviously, it's hard to forget about his incredible performance at the Western States 100 back in 2019 as well. He's won a different golden ticket race in his career, the Black Canyon 100K, and really, I don't know what more you want from this guy. Matt, go out there and take home the W. We're excited to follow it along all day. And before we get out of here, I do want to give my picks for the top spots in the 100 mile distance and the 50 50K distance as well. In the 100 miler on the men's side, I've got Adam Kimball taking home the top spot. And on the women's side, I've got it going to Alex Borsick. It's not every day that I get to pick an Ohio Bobcat for the win at a 100 mile race, so I'm definitely going to do it here. Despite being an underdog to the ever talented Annie Hughes, I like Annie's chances here going for her second 100 mile win in her career. Good luck out there. 
And for the 50k race, on the men's side, I've got the top spot going to Adam Peterboy. Since the filming of this original prediction video, Adam Peterman has officially confirmed on his Strava that he's no longer running Canyons 50k this weekend. So Regeneration, I want you to let me know in the comment section below who you think will win the 50k race for the, on the men's side this year. Switching gears, throwing things over to the women's side for the 50k race, I've got the top spot going to Cat Bradley. Thanks for watching another Ridge Hunters prediction video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already. Comment section. That's where I'm gonna be living the next three days. Comment section. I'm gonna be in there 24 seven. I'm gonna see you guys being dropping your picks for if I'm drinking milk, not drinking milk. I'm gonna be just there, living my life because I'm super confident my guy Brian Curl is gonna get this done for me. But I wanna hear your picks too. Who are you that confident? Who would you chug a gallon of milk for? That's what I wanna know today, especially down there in the comment section. Best of luck to all the runners that are gonna be out there this weekend at this race. We cannot wait to hear all of the stories on the other side. Best of luck out there. As always, cheers.